Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about how all the characters, including the children in my Hernandez series, have a storyline. Now, the reason why that's even an issue that I'm even talking about is because you we often see um we often see children in television shows and in books, and what I'm finding is they're just sort of there. You know what I mean? They're a part of the background almost. I know it sounds terrible, but they don't seem to have their own story. They're just kind of there to f fit in with the adult story. And I, I don't know. I, I, and I guess when I look back at some of my older books, maybe that, you know, I had characters that were like that. They're just kind of there. They weren't really, they're just sort of the, there to prop up the, narr the not the, narr the protagonist. And now I'm finding I everybody I kind of like to have all my characters have their own storyline to the point that I could pick up any one of them, put them in their own book, and they it it may not be as strong as having all the characters together, but I think it could be done, and I think that's important. And why is that important? Well, that's important because that's realistic. You know, if you were to write a book centering on your workplace, I don't know how many people you have at your work, but if you have, no, no matter what, you probably have a certain amount of people at your work. And uh, like, you know, two, three, 10, I don't know, 300, it doesn't matter. The point is all those people have a life. All those people have had great times in their life. They've had really low points in their life. They have stuff going on all the time. Same with characters. All these characters have stuff going on. We may not always put it out into the light. And what I'm finding with my Hernandez series, there's stuff kind of, you kind of sense there might be something off or something going on with a character. And then it comes out in another book. And this is sort of the same idea. Um, and I'm specifically talking about children because I find children, I, I when I watch TV shows especially, they're kind of like, they're, they're relevant, they're there but not really, and they don't really seem to have stuff going on with them. And I kind of, in my Hernandez series, of course, Maria would be the most obvious as a baby too, with the babies, you know, he's still a baby. It's not, he has stuff going on, he's learning to walk. You know? <laughs> but Maria, she's been in the story since she was 10 when the series started, and now she's a teenager. So we kind of have seen a little bit of what's going on in her life regarding her family moving. She always seems to have a lot of problems in school. You know, she whether she's bullied or accused of bullying, which things have kind of taken a change. How she wants to get involved with the family, be more part, uh, she wants to eventually lead the family. So, I mean, she has her own, we could take her out of this book and write her own book, her own series even. It, these characters are much stronger together, but it's doable because she has her own stuff going on. Now, if she was just sort of in the background and popped in once in a while, hey, daddy, like whatever to to uh, to George or, you know, got in trouble once in a while, maybe if even that, like, like I say, there's a lot of books and, and movies and TV shows where the kids just don't seem to really play a role unless they're relevant to the protagonist storyline. So I think the the why it's important for these um for children in in books to have their own sort of set of problems and issues and 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 things coming up all the time is because that's how it is in real life and that affects the entire family. So if Maria is in trouble at school, that kind of shakes things up with the family and it's something else for the protagonist to tend to, which makes it more realistic, more three-dimensional because people have kids, you know, they have problems with those kids and issues that come up. It's not just, you know, once in a while they pop up to give them a kiss at Christmas and give them a gift, you know what I mean? They're there all the time. They're, they're, they're children, but they're, they're just younger people who have their own things like most people have when they were kids anyways I just think it's important I don't know maybe not everyone agrees I don't know what do you think do you think that's important do you think a child in a show in a book you know should have their own life 
like the kids do? Or do you think they should keep them in the background? What do you think? I'm thinking television has a lot to do with laws regarding, you know, paying children and have laws regarding how long they're allowed on screen and stuff. I don't know. And that's fair. That's fair. Books don't, but you know, whatever. Um, thanks guys. If you could like, share, subscribe. I have videos on YouTube and Rumble. Um, all of the, all these like, share, su subscribes help me out a lot. Um, and it helps bring more attention to my videos, which is what I want. More attention and people to learn about my books and writing. Thank you guys. Have a great day.